As an actress, I always wondered why certain expressions are understood all over the world. If I smile, it's understood everywhere, right? But if I do this, it's understood only in Italy. This in Italian is an interrogation mark. In Italian, we can make many gestures and create little sentences. I can say, are you hungry? Do you want to go eat? I learned these gestures just growing up in Italy and looking up at the grown-ups and imitating them. But smile, I haven't learned. I was born with it. Or if I'm disgusted, oh, we all go like this. And that is understood all over the world. How this uh, universally understood expression came about? Well, Darwin asked himself the same question and wrote a book about it. The expression of emotion in men and animals. Expression of emotions, that's my job. I'm an actress. I express the emotions and animals. That's my passion. Besides being an actress, I also have a master's degree on animal behavior ethology. So when I read this book, as if my two passions, that I always lived as two separate things, came together. Darwin also wondered, if you look at expressions, can you date them? For example, we all uh, show anger uh, this way. Ha! Oh, he said, showing the teeth, that's common. Among all the animals, this expression might be very old, but if I exp express anger this way, ha, 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 ah, this means that we raised, that our ancestors already were in the two feet that freed the hands that can be now used as a weapon or can be, you can get a branch and hit somebody. So maybe that expression ah, of anger is more recent. But Darwin had a problem. Expressions are fleeting. For example, if you had to observe two Italians talking, one would say, Oh, mamma mia, ho tanta fame, dammi da mangiare. Ma che io dovrei mangiare? Ma vado, ma state zitto. He would look at all these expressions and he would say, well, okay, this maybe is... Because Darwin believed that these expressions, they're universal, they might have been shaped by evolution, just like our bones. But he was so... You know, it, it was too fleeting. But the century that he was born, it was also the century when photography was invented. And he experimented with photography in trying to capture the images. He worked with actors. He worked uh, with uh, a neurologist. Uh, they created probes to hold the expression because, you know, this is this old camera. This is a camera that, according to Darwin, was very modern. This is my grandfather. That he was born 70 years after uh, Darwin. So this is a more recent camera. But this camera needed a very, very long exposure, up to 60 seconds. Can you imagine? I mean, 60 seconds, that's a long time. You want to photograph a smile? It's only 10 seconds. You see how, how difficult it is? So, but it was the beginning of being able to capture expression. And Darwin's book is the first one that included photography. Photography, my grandfather, my father is a filmmaker, my mother is an actress, I was a model. Here is uh, my cover of Vogue. I mean, this last monologue that I've done, Darwin's Smile, has all the things that I always was interested in, in my life. Animals, that's my house, decorated with animals. Acting, ethology, animal behavior, and photography.